everybody, Jim here uh, in Akihabara Station right now actually, and fun fact, uh, sometimes you can find pretty cool little pop-up shops uh, right here in the station. Don't even have to leave the station. And uh, right now there's a DC Comics pop-up shop going on, so let's have a look around and see what kind of DC merch they're peddling. お仕事。すいません。いつまで休むの今 PS4 All right, DC pop-up shop in the station itself. Uh, very cool as we start looking at some of this really cool DC branded stuff because um, really uncommon to uh, see a lot of um, DC stuff uh, in uh, uh, Tokyo as we look at socks and other things. Lots of retro, more like late 80s, early 90s designs on a lot of this stuff, the Batman and Superman stuff, all these. Um, yeah, very common to see Marvel stuff, just because the Marvel movies are so big everywhere. But not as common to see uh, fun DC stuff, so I was happy to see this. Uh, including Batman-branded golf ball socks. Um, kind of an in indispensable accessory for the avid golfer. Uh, so yeah, was happy to see some DC stuff. I have been a comic book fan for most of my life. Uh, mostly... Marvel Comics, but I also do uh, like uh, some DC stuff, primarily Batman, but uh, I am not ad adverse to any uh, DC Comics. Um, as we take a look at some of these sweaters and t-shirts, that had some very cool designs on them. As you can see, some of them like this, they have like covers from, you know, various comic books and then uh, some other things, cool designs, but again, classic, more like 80s style Batman logo, little like tech deck. <laughs> Skateboards, laser pointers, keychains. Is there anything you cannot put the Batman logo on? I don't think so. Because it becomes a bat whatever it is. Pass me the bat laser pointer. Pass me that uh, bat, uh, I don't know, soda dispenser, whatever. You could put the Batman logo on anything. Um, but yeah. So cool stuff here. Cool t-shirt designs. We got some Wonder Woman. Some Batman. Always gets his man. There he is. Good old Batman. And uh, plain white tee with the classic Batman logo on it. Even I have one of those. Um, so yeah, looking at all this stuff. And uh, also Justice League here. Not flying off the shelves. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the Justice League movie. In fact, I didn't really care for it at all. Um, but it hasn't really tarnished my love of Batman, really. Uh, and then figures. All these figures, I'm sure, were like... Very, very common in, like, Walmarts and uh, Game Stops and all that all across North America. I've never seen any of these figures, though. Because, uh, again, not much saturation of DC stuff in Japan. Uh, so, some of these are pretty cool. Uh, some of them just seem kind of like generic action figure -y to me. But others are uh, pretty cool. I do like this one here, this kind of, like, manga-style 
Bruce Wayne Batman thing. Very cool. And some uh, statues and larger figures as well. Even a nice uh, Tim Burton-esque Batmobile. Very cool. Uh, so I, you know, like looking at all the stuff. And all your office supply needs from DC Comics. File protectors, pens, pen holders, notepads, pencil cases, etc., etc. Lots of stickers. The one and only like Shazam bit of merch they had, which I was like, I was like, where's all the Shazam stuff? I really, I actually like that movie. I liked it way more than a lot of the other recent uh, DC stuff, but uh, Shazam didn't get much love here. Uh, as we look at towels, you'll get towels, lots and lots of DC branded towels, cups, mugs, blah, blah, blah. Mug Costanza. Um, so all that stuff. All that stuff. I want that. I want that and that. I want a Batman. Uh, yeah. And last but not least, Funko Pops, which I'm sure probably lots of people are sick of seeing these Funko Pops. I know they're very, very big in uh, North America. Mm, don't really give a shit about them in Japan. We've already got plenty of cutesy little figures and stuff, so I never see Funko Pops, so there they are. Um, that's really it for this little uh, pop-up shop. DC Comics, pretty cool. Check it out if you're in the station. That's it. Okay, so that's it. The uh, DC Comics pop-up shop. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Very unusual. I don't. This is stuff I don't typically see uh, in or around Tokyo. So uh, pretty cool to see some some of this stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, in this exact spot right here, which is directly next to the Electric Town exit, um, they have pop-up shops pretty much all the time. They've had lots of different stuff. I've seen like Godzilla pop-up shops and various kinds of anime, things like that. Uh, so if you just come right here next to the exit, uh, there should be something pretty cool for you. Uh, anyway, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, hope you have fun on your trip to Akiba, whenever that may be. All right, so thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.